Hello there, I am John Oliver, host of HBO's Last Week Tonight and also banned for life from the set of HBO's Ballers. <laughs> Call me, Dwayne. We can mend this fence. <laughs> uh, we're off this week, but I'm here on the internet to do the most internet thing imaginable, and that is complain about superhero movies. <laughs> Every year, the market is flooded with movies about superheroes. Just this year, uh, blockbusters included movies ranging from Mean Spider-Man uh, to <laughs> Sad Man vs. Super Sad Man <laughs> uh, to The Insane Clown Posse Takes Manhattan. <laughs> now, now, each of these movies have their strengths and weaknesses, which I will not go into because I would like to feel the touch of another human at least once more before I die. <laughs> but, but I do think some audience members are feeling a little fatigued and seeing the same characters over and over again. And fear not, because I have a solution for fans who are looking for something beyond the Marvel and DC universes. And I hope some movie executives are watching this and taking notes. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you next year's summer blockbuster, Johnny Strong. <laughs> now, now, you may notice that drawing is a little amateurish, and that is because Johnny Strong is a character that I created in fifth grade. By day, he is mild-mannered fifth grader John Olivier. No relation. <laughs> but from the time school lets out until dinner, he becomes the, let's say, unconventionally handsome hero, Johnny Strong. <laughs> Johnny Strong is a kick-ass hero with a bad attitude. He's seen a boob and he knows what the F-word is. <laughs> he, he intrepidly battles villains such as Doc Bedtime. A monster made of blankets who can magically plunge the world into total darkness. And, of course, there's the dreaded Mrs Thomas, the clarinet teacher. <gasps> no, Mrs Thomas, the clarinet is not the electric guitar of the mouth. You're a charlatan and I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. Johnny doesn't want to play it. <laughs> the whole Johnny Strong series is chock-full of adventures that are begging to be adapted to the silver screen. And where better to start than with issue one, which is called Night Moves. A title I did not realise was also the name of a Bob Seger song. <laughs> now, in Night Moves, an evil mutant monster has been breaking into the Olivier household at night, probably to steal the awesome rock collections of cool little boys. And <laughs> Johnny Strong can't sleep, not because he's scared, he's very brave. He just can't fall asleep when there's injustice afoot. What's worse is that the grown-ups are rendered incapable of seeing this creature and are convinced that it is just the cat. But Johnny Strong knows better. So Johnny developed a plan. He stayed up late into the night, even though he was very tired from clarinet practice. <laughs> then, when he heard the mutant creep into his bedroom, he sprang out of bed in his suit of ultimate power, which, yes, looked a lot like a pair of footy pyjamas that you have to special order to fit a boy his size. <laughs> He took out his mutant vaporising laser, which is what a laser pointer is if you don't say pointer. And <laughs> he chased the mutant down the stairs. The beast let out a terrified meow, which is what mutants do when they're scared, and recoiled from the laser's mighty beam. Johnny Strong chased the mutant out the front door, which he propped open with a rock in a move that, as an adult, I admit, was probably unsafe. Then he shouted, Be gone, mutant! Which woke up his baby sister, who started crying, probably tears of joy, at hearing that justice had been served. <laughs> now, is Johnny Strong finally celebrated as the hero he is? Does the monster ever return? We'll find out in issue two, which is called Land of the Lost Cat Posters. <laughs> now, that is it for now. Last, last week tonight returns September 25th. Until then, Hollywood, I am awaiting your call strongly.